Well, there's no clock back there, so I'm not a cop anymore. So we'll see where this goes. But um, a hobby that my wife and I got into last year um, I, was our little side by side, our razor, and uh, just just for fun. Just it was something we had some friends that all bought razors, and it was just a uh, a, a hobby. Or it is a hobby for us. And we filmed a little bit of it. And I know they're dangerous and all of the things, I get it. I've been on four wheelers and side by sides and all this stuff all my life. But uh, today's Saturday, two days ago. Two days ago, I almost lost two of my kids. And uh, this is the scariest thing I've ever experienced. And I wasn't gonna come to this because of this accident. And I got to thinking about how many people are here I mean, I've talked to so many people and taken pictures of so many people. The only reason you're here is because we're here and you drove a thousand miles. And I, I couldn't, I just couldn't carry that weight. But the accident that happened the other day just almost changed our family's life forever. Um, we were riding a razor with some friends and uh, we were at a local ATV park that we go to all the time and uh, just doing what we always do. We just it's spring break, we're all having fun. I was driving, DJ's in the front seat, Emily's behind me and then Weston's behind her. Houston was riding with a friend of ours. And we've been parked and sitting talking and other people, it's a busy place, there's always people coming up. And uh, we're like, okay, let's go ride around and go find another trail. And um, so I, I took the lead, I took off, and everybody's buckled in, everybody's got their seat belts and all that. And I, I go up a hill that Houston and I, I mean, we, him and I have been up it, 10 or 15 times probably. And uh, get all the way to the top and there's this, there's a rock on one side and a tree on the other. I'm like, well, I'm gonna hug this rock so I don't hit the tree. And uh, we've made, I mean, we're 20 feet from the very top of the hill where it's flat. And uh, as I hug this rock, the razor kind of rocks up just a little bit on one side and it bumps that tree. Well, it, the weight just stuck right there. So my, my left side was off the ground about a foot, no big deal, I and mean, we're just sitting there. We're all kind of giggling and laughing, and uh, Weston could almost just grab the tree and just push us back over. I said, just wait, I'll put it in park, and so I, I reached up, put this razor in park, and I opened my door to get out, and all I, I literally just hold onto the rail and just set it back down on its wheels. I mean, no big deal. As soon as those wheels hit the ground, I guess it, or that tree had it in a bind and with the way it was sitting, that uh, I guess the, the razor didn't go in park. So I don't know if it, it was my fault. I'm not blaming anyone, I'm not blaming the razor, but it slipped out of park somehow and it starts to roll backwards. And uh, as it rolls backwards, I try, I'm trying to figure out how to get back in it or what. It's, it's just picking up speed and it eventually it knocks me down. So I'm laying on the ground and I look back and you know, we just came up a trail, it's no big deal. We've done it a bunch, but without a driver, that razor is rolling down the hill in reverse, out of control. And I spent 14 years in law enforcement. I've seen a lot of things that I wish I never saw. I've, uh, I've watched a lot of people take their last breath. I've knocked on so many doors that I can't even count to tell people that mom or dad or son or somebody was killed in a car accident. And my mom died in a car accident when I was six years old. So I, I've been on both sides of that. And um, I, don't, I don't think anybody should ever have to do that, but it's just it is what it is. So I'm laying on the ground watching this razor pick up speed, go down the hill. And with nobody driving, it's out of control. So it doesn't even stay on the trail, go sideways and it flips, lands on the roof and then rolls down the hill. And uh, I, at the time, I didn't even know if I was hurt. I'm like sliding down. And um, I, I can't explain how my wife did this. She, she was out of that machine before I think it ever stopped, screaming at the top of her lungs. And um, she didn't know where I was at. She just knew that I was standing there and then I disappeared. So in her mind, I got ran over. Well, by the time I get down the hill, she had looked in the razor and my daughter, Emily, who's 13, I mean, I'll take you back. April 28, 2008, my daughter was born and I remember holding her the first time. 
and you know, your newborn baby, you're supporting their head and their neck, and you've got all these thoughts that go through your brain of who they're gonna be and what they're gonna become, what they're gonna achieve, and what this life's gonna bring for them. When I got to the razor and, and I look in, it's on its side, and I, everybody's screaming, you know, and Emily's 